Hoodies are a staple in everyone's wardrobe, we all know that, and I'm gonna show you how to style it. At least, how I do it. Don't let me tell you what to do, except for hitting the like button, please do that. So how should it fit? You're gonna hear guys saying it shouldn't fit too tight, or it shouldn't fit too loose, understandable, but I think you should base it on your interests. If you're more of a dapper, clean cut dude, then maybe something a little more slim fitting will be your cup of tea. And if you're a gym rat, or nowadays a home gym rat, I honestly think that you should stick to more slim fitting hoodies, nothing too tight. You'll see a lot of fitness gurus rocking super tight hoodies, I don't, I don't get why. I think it restricts your movements whenever you're doing uh, your compound movements and all that, and it's just not a good way to work out, in my opinion. But you do you. And if you're into streetwear, you're gonna want something a little more oversized. Or take it from me, I like both. I like to think of it like calisthenics and weightlifting. I do both. I don't like to place any limitations on myself like that, and neither should you. But also, let me tell you why I like fitted hoodies. Not all jackets can handle the extra fabric from an oversized hoodie. So that is why you need a fitted one. So now, what should you look for within a hoodie? For the most part, what I recommend is going for a solid color. I recommend slate gray as your first hoodie as it's even more versatile than a black one in my opinion, but cream, black, and olive are great places to start. A graphic or a box logo one's also a good choice. Just make sure that you actually like the brand or the graphic and it vibes with who you are. Because if you actually like a show, a series, or a certain brand, well then it's who you are. It should fit your style perfectly. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And yes, prequel trilogy over any other trilogy don't at me but I would also look for more abstract type of hoodies abstract in terms of design something like this hoodie right here I said this in another video but your standard hoodie has a V cut to its collar because that's where the hood is attached to and it also comes with your standard pouch and drawstrings. you know the typical hoodie however hoodies are an item that you want a variety of in your wardrobe and not just a bunch of colors so like I said check out this hoodie right here this is from Alpha Industries the color is a high neck collar giving it some more utilitarian vibes there's a nylon kangaroo pouch as well as the standard pouch making it a lot more functional and uniquely designed than the standard hoodie. Just think of this like the ambush dunks versus the regular dunks. Both are great, but the ambush dunks have a little more oomph to it, you know what I'm saying? Now onto the tips. I always recommend a hoodie layered underneath any jacket really. It's fresh, there's a visual layer seen up top in the collar area because that hoodie hanging out from the back really does make a difference. And so this means any jacket that doesn't have a hood already attached to it. If it does have a hoodie attached to it, don't don't double layer, man. That looks weird. Unless you're in Canada or up north or in Chicago or something like that, you gotta walk backwards to prevent yourself from catching hypothermia, I get it. But otherwise, don't do that. But I'm talking bomber jackets, leather jackets, denim jackets. You guys already do this, I know that. Because it does look so much better than a standard long sleeve layer underneath. But for me, if it's a leather jacket, I think cream or gray is the best choice to layer underneath. Just my opinion, but you do you. Denim jackets, I also think cream looks best in because the two pieces are lighter in tone, and that's why they complement each other. But what you really want to do is to layer a hoodie underneath a coat or trench jacket. What this is going to do is give your fit a more upscale look while not looking too financial district, stock trader-esque type of vibe. It's going to be casual yet more sophisticated. It's a sweet look that I think any guy can pull off. Seriously, go ahead and try it. This one right here is from Express, and because it's more slim fitting, I'm wearing it with the more fitted hoodie. You know, I'm taking my advice. Some sweats and white leather sneakers from Oliver Cabell. So, like I said, it's a more sophisticated look, yet it's really casual because I've got on sweatpants, and that's what I'm all about most of the time. I'm always looking for contrasting items that really shouldn't complement each other and trying to put them together. Because with trench coats, you'd think, okay, I need some skinny pants and some boots. I really dig a hoodie underneath this trench coat that I got from Uniqlo, and I just leaned into the tech vibes as since the jacket is waterproof and has the right cut to it, and it really gives off that dystopian and energy one of my favorite looks you could always wear it on its own plain and simple but i always recommend adding a little bit of spice to it because i rarely ever wear a hoodie just by itself so here's what i recommend throw on a beanie it really complements the look with the hood sitting right behind your ears and the beanie as well and i think it makes a pretty big difference you could also throw on a tote bag or a sling bag for more visual detail and these accessories would basically act like a graphic hoodie typically with my graphic hoodies because it has a graphic i don't really wear anything else with it maybe a beanie but for the plain hoodies i always rock it with a sling bag or a tote bag I think it really complements the outfit so check this fit out right here I have on a simple talentless hoodie 
a messenger bag, straight cut denim and white sneakers, grayscale simple look but the accessories add enough complexity to keep it from being too basic but nothing wrong with that either. And you could even throw on a puffer vest. So a puffer vest and a hoodie especially if they are the same color is an underrated look that you don't really see enough of. And of course you guys know me already, you're gonna need some cargo pants. So I strictly avoid wearing a plain hoodie and just some plain pants. I think that's a little too basic for me. So that is why I rock some accessories, you know, a sling bag and a beanie and all that. So if I don't want to do any of that, I just throw on some cargo pants, especially the tech cargo pants. Because the unique cuts, the pockets, and other accessories of the pants will compensate for the plain top. So check this out. Just a plain hoodie, my Nike ACG cargos, and some boots. Oof. Chef's kiss. And the last way I like to wear a hoodie is something you don't see enough in person, at least for me. And so, throw on some athletic shorts. This is for a casual look on warmer days, or you can throw on sweats if it's a colder one. But put on some crew socks and a sneaker of your choice, and it just looks so good. Just like your skin can look so good by using Curology, the sponsor of today's video. Let me take a second to thank them for supporting the channel. So Curology is a subscription based brand that I've been using for over a year now. And a lot of you guys have been saying, yo Johnny, your skin looking nice. Well, I'll be honest, lighting helps a ton. I have a softbox light right here on camera, but off camera, I'm just a normal guy. You know, I've got adult issues, I've got bills to pay and good old acne. And I use Curology every day to help me out with that. Because here's what makes Curology so different. In your box, you're going to get a cleanser which does exactly what it says. It cleanses your face, a moisturizer to hydrate your skin, and the best parts, your own personalized night cream curated just for you and your specific skin. So I put a lot of my friends on Curology and they have their own specific formula which is always refreshing to hear. Your night cream will come with your own name on it and the specific percentages of ingredients inside. Everyone has their own because everyone has different skin. At the time that you sign up, Curology is going to ask you a bunch of questions which is a really good thing because it's going to help your dermatology provider get to know you and your specific skin. You know, get to know it better, understand it. It's like if you have oily skin, dry skin, what problems you're facing, what you want for your future skin. That way your dermatology provider can send you your own night cream to take care of that. Like for me, when I first took the test, I had dry skin, hyperpigmentation, so I have different patches of light and dark skin on my face. And they sent me my specific formula, and I've definitely seen an improvement to the point that I'm focusing on more de-aging, you know, I'm getting a little old. So I'm chatting with my dermatology provider to get the formula switched up. And that's the best part, you can always chat with your dermatology provider, send them some progress pics. Once you create your account, you're going to have a whole page of information about your specific skin, your recommended routine, it's very streamlined, and you can't really mess it up. And I know that this may sound expensive, but you can get started on your own free trial kit that comes with a cleanser, a moisturizer, and your own specific night cream for guess what? Five bucks. Well, to be specific, it's $4.95 for shipping and handling. All you guys gotta do is click that link in the description, check out Curology to get started. Thank you Curology for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for checking out Curology. I really appreciate it. All right, y'all, that is how I would style hoodies. This is kind of a remake of my old how to style hoodies video because that video was kind of whack. Hoodies are a year round piece. They're more associated towards the fall and winter, but you can definitely wear it, but you can definitely wear it in the spring because there are cold days in spring and a lot of us have been used to being quarantined for the past year. So let me know what spring videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at flowerjohnnytai. I'm on TikTok now. If you guys want to follow me there, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Peace.